Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's building time again today. We're gonna build the Lego Friends. Well, another one of the heart boxes, but this one is like the deluxe pack. This is the heart box friendship pack because it's for friends and for sharing with friends. And Olivia's got a friend in it. And it's a bit different. Well, it's actually quite different to the other heart boxes, but it's, yeah, it's cool. So let's see. We have got, <laughs> I get a little bit excited. We've got Olivia in here and she's got this new top, which I haven't seen in any other packs yet. And it is cool. It's got like little space invaders in the middle there. It's really cute. She's got the face we used to. Hi, Olivia. You got a nice face. And she's got her new hairdo too. I'm still becoming accustomed to these. I'll get there in the end. But I do like her new top. That is very, very cool. She also gets a flower for the side of her hair and it just looks really pretty with the rest of the color scheme. So Olivia is ready. She is joined by dun dun da by Vicky with the best boots you've ever seen. They've got well they're shiny and they've got like gold on them. And I I just I'm not quite certain when Olivia and Vicky became really super good friends because in the last season, look at how smiley she is. In the last season, we had her with like a smirking face and she was busy competing against them. But now apparently she is Olivia's bestie for this set anyway. And she gets a bow plonked right on the top of her head, which looks kind of incongruous with the rest of her outfit because the pink doesn't go with anything else, but she looks cute. So who cares? And she has got a poodle. I'm assuming this is Vicky's poodle. I have no idea what the name of this poodle is, but we've seen this exact same poodle in other sets. It just wasn't Vicky's then. Poodle comes with a bone and a party hat. <laughs> Not sure why. That's really random. But there's lots of random things in here. You'll see why in a moment. It also comes with a crown. So we've got that. It's very strange, but like I said, it will all become clear soon, I hope. So we've, before we even start building, we've got lots of things to look at. We have got a book, a buildable book with once upon a time in here. This is a storybook, obviously. And the story or the, the story that goes with these actual with this pack is that one of the girls is supposed to be reading the story and the other girl's supposed to be play acting it or dressing up for it. So if we're going to be dressing up, they need a nice big dressing up chest. We can put the bone in here, though we're not going to be wearing that. We can put the party hat in here too, and then it's all neat and tidy and everything's put away. But wait, there's a lot more stuff. We've got this. This is something that has never come in a Lego Friends set before. This is the astronaut's helmety thing and well Olivia is straight into this I think she has been dreaming of going into space her whole life so let's remove her hair and put the helmet on so she can look bald and slightly strange with no hair but she also has a wrench for tightening up the air tanks or something or for hitting aliens with and have no idea why she has a wrench she also has got this which comes with her a lot so a touch pad or like a smart tablety kind of thing. So this is this is the little devicey thing that comes with Olivia a lot. So this is all part of her dress up stuff. <laughs> I wonder what we're gonna have next. Something to build. This is cool because I like things to build. We've got a little green dollop of stuff down there, which we are looking at through the microscope. And Olivia's right in there. Is she gonna share any of this stuff with Vicky? I don't know. We have got a suitcase or a briefcase with a white almost dropped that random thing in it and looks like Vicky is in charge of that she is going to be taking this somewhere and she's got a beaker of toxic green stuff oh and a syringe so this is the white random thing is uh, uh is medicine I, I I reckon and she's also we've got a whole heap of doctoring things here we have got a stethoscope we built no oh, come on a, an otoscope that thing that you use for looking in people's ears. Don't feed that to the dog, Vicky. That's a terrible idea. That's a better idea. You can check the puppy's eyes and the puppy's ears. So cute. They can sit down here. So she's got all the doctory stuff, all the medical stuff. Olivia's still investigating whatever's under that microscope. And the next part we have to build is a red uh thing and oh an axe oh <laughs> which we just broke the red thing with so an axe and a red thing and this hat is going to make it all become clear 
because it's gold and it's got an enormous brim which you do not actually put on the front you put it at the back so it's a firefighter's outfit so this is going to be like a fire extinguisher it's not going to be overly helpful against an enormous fire but it's cool it's really cool she's got a complete firefighter's outfit there now what else have we got we've got are we making another otoscope i don't think so so uh, oh, a megaphone and a stop signy kind of thing so, and a police cap <laughs> oh, cute. so or maybe even oh, look at that i didn't even realize mia was sitting there in the background mia is straight into this she is ready to uh, uh to, <laughs> to help direct traffic so making them stop and <laughs> not, uh, no, not right in Olivia's ear. That's way too loud. That's cool though. We've also got a magic wand which works! <gasps> works! We have conjured up a frog <laughs> and a witch's hat! This is so much fun! Andrea's coming too! There's no way she was going to miss out on this one. So what's she going to be? Is she going to, I don't know, boil the frog? Or, or change it into a prince, or who knows? She's got the wand. She can do basically whatever she likes now. She's got the wand and the hat <laughs> and, and a token frog. That's fabulous. Okay, what's next? This is really exciting. We have a pirate helmet. That's not a helmet. Pirate hat. Pirate hat with a feather in it and a pistol or a blunderbuss. Wouldn't they have a sword though? Oh, and some jewels, some treasure for them to find. And here is Vicky. She's going to be the pirate. And I tried this pirate accent before. It did not go particularly well. I don't know why I'm trying it again, but she has got the treasure and she's got the blunderbuss and she could do with a sword for some serious whapping. But good news, Mia is on the case. Mia as the police person person or maybe even a traffic control person and oh, hold on so if she just takes us off and puts this on she'll be in a perfect disguise and Mia won't know that she was the one who stole the jewel excuse me have you seen anybody around here who was stealing treasure no not at all oh I'll well, be on my way then see look perfectly worked <laughs> I think Mia needs to have her eyes checked too and this is very cool we have got a new base plate in a heart shape this opens up so many options, none of which I've actually thought of yet, but it's so cool to have heart-shaped things, especially because the basic theme for LEGO Friends is, is to have hearts. So it's so nice to have all these heart-shaped things. And this is uh, a, a remarkably much smaller box than the previous ones that we have built, but we're still building it the same style. We've got all the smooth parts on the inside. We're building up the nice curved external walls. And now we put everything in here. This would be a good storage. In fact, this is better than the storage chest because it's bigger. We could put all that stuff in there. Now we can smooth over the edges with the nice curved smoothie pieces. I love this. We need some with a couple of little upward facing studs, obviously, so we can hold on the, on the, I was about to say roof, but we can hold on the lid once we've built it. And we'll put all the rest of this stuff in here. It's kind of a bit packed now, so we're going to have to shove the roof on. Another one of these heart-shaped base plates. So cool. And we're making a different pattern on the front, but it's still going to end up being a heart shape. It's got a pretty little flower in the middle of it. Isn't that sweet? It's just adorable and this is not going to work so we're just going to tip it all out and the instructions actually say that this little box is for storing the bone and the puppy in. So this box is for the dog. The dog gets her own little box and <laughs> we'll put a party hat in there too. So there we go. This one is a little miniature one of the ones that we've been building for the other girls and it also gets its own little stand as well. That's adorable. I want like a dozen of those boxes. They're really cute. And these are all the extra pieces that were in this bag. We actually basically have duplicates. Duplicates of the bones, duplicate of the little hats. We got duplicates of just about everything so that they can, we could make another little otoscope, another stop sign. It's another pistol there. There's another magic wand, more flowers. So lots and lots of little spare dress up pieces. Now, bag number two brings a nice big building project. And the girls are having so much fun there in the background in their dress up gear. But we have got a big heart shaped box to build. This one is going to be bigger than the standard ones that we've been building for each individual girl. 
and the other one that we just built is smaller so this is really exciting <laughs> i'm loving all these different size boxes look how big that is all right so this is uh i was gonna say it's obviously going to be the base but i'm not sure yet we could be building the lid first but no all right so putting these parts on pretty much indicates that we are building up the walls. It's as smooth as it can be on the inside. There's some little studs in there, so it means that the girls could kind of stand up and have a party in there. It's quite big. It's a lot of space. They could do all sorts of stuff inside this box. Actually, I wonder, we'll have to try out once it's all built. I wonder if we can put all of the Lego Friends girls in there and use this one as a nice big carry container for them. So we've got our walls on. Now we are smoothing over the top with my favorite smoothed and roundy pieces. Got the ones with the little studs on them so we can hold the lid on. So cute. Let's just put some of these girls in here now and they can have a chat while we build the lid. Now each of these lids have had a printed piece with the girls' names on them. Now this one has got a printed piece with the dress up box on it it's and it's in shiny stuff it's all shiny it's so pretty <laughs> so we're putting a whole heap of little studs and little smooth places on here so that you can also set a scene up on top of the box if you want to and if you want to display the girls on top you can do that too because there's plenty of studs to stick their feet onto it's so so cool i need to concentrate make sure all these smooth bits go on the same way because it's not quite symmetrical and now we just need these little uh, little quarter pie pieces to round over the edges there and the heart is so complete it's so so pretty and on the bottom we get some of these little round pieces to help hold well, the seams together just gives them some extra stability and it means that it's going to sit on the top nice and straight now we need to we might just take the extra girls out we'll keep Vicky and Olivia in here and look at that a big heart-shaped box with room for everything so the chest goes in here all of the dress up stuff we can just chuck it in here we don't have to worry about it going in nicely we just have to make sure it gets in there <laughs> we're going to have to see if the lid still fits it does oh and we can stack the tiny box on top here that looks pretty good there <laughs> so cute and it also gets its own stand so we can display this in fact, if you were pretty cluey, you probably noticed these on display in the background when I was making the stained glass heart for Valentine's Day. But this is the size of the girls' boxes. So we now have a big one, a medium one, and a small one. And I really totally want to see if I can stack them all. So let's go. That stacks beautifully. And we can, well, we'll just put Mia's stuff <laughs> in back away. And we can put the little one on the tippy top. And they are all holding together really successfully oh, that is epic oh, i love the fact that we have got three different sizes of buildable boxes friendship boxes for the girls and we can also use them for so many different other things we could set up a whole little scene on the top of this tiny one use it as a table so we could have a little science lab here oh except olivia doesn't actually reach there so we're gonna have to she could stand on the book we could totally just use pieces from the from the, from the set. Still not high enough. How about the suitcase? Let's add the suitcase and we can make a stack here that she can stand on like a little step. And now she can see into the microscope. These are so cool. Are you loving these heart-shaped Lego Friends boxes? I certainly am. Make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think in the comments and make sure you subscribe make sure you like do all of those things and i will be back with a new video very soon so i will see you then bye